So I'm going to show um, that if you add the square of the distance of a point from um, uh, from the orthocenter of the triangle, the vertex from the orthocenter of the triangle, and you add that square onto the square of uh, another vertex, uh, oh, sorry, the, the square of the length of the opposite side, then that's four times uh, the square of the distance um, from the point uh, to the circumcenter. Um, as with a lot of this stuff, so seem easier when we actually draw it than it is to enunciate the theorem that we're looking for. Um, so here's uh, here's my triangle, and um, in case I forget, I will constrain the lengths of the triangle a. B and C. Now I'm going to need the circumcenter and the orthocenter. So the circumcenter I can get by creating the circumcircle, which I can do by selecting the three points and then the circle construction. Uh, the orthocenter I'm going to need to uh, drop perpendiculars from A onto the opposite side, from C onto the opposite side and intersect those two and that's the orthocenter. I also kind of like to uh, de-emphasize these two lines so we'll uh, change the color. Okay so what is it we're going to try and uh, look at? We're looking at the sum of squares of the distance from A to um, this point G, the um, orthocenter, and uh, the opposite sides. So the, that is uh, then uh, distance from A to G squared. Plus the square of the opposite side was just a squared. There we have that. And now we want to compare that with four times the distance from a uh, to the circumcenter d. And uh, actually, that's not all I wanted. I wanted the square of that. Um, so let's just copy that up there. And we find that that, in fact, is the same um, as that one. We can get rid of that middle, middle line. Uh, we can compare them more easily. <laughs> 